Okay, question 12. So a tank of water initially contains 400 litres. Water is leaking from the tank such that after 10 minutes, there are 324 litres remaining in the tank. Let me underline this and this. The volume of water, V, litres remaining in the tank after T minutes can be modelled by the differential equation. This show that V equals this. Okay, so essentially, guys, they're saying solve this differential equation. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So this is our, well, our initial condition is that, um, so it says initially, that means when T is zero, um, V is 400. So that'll help us get um, K. And we have another condition after 10 minutes, there's 324 liters rem remaining in the tank. So that'll help us get C. So we're gonna actually have two constants that we need to find K and C find them and then we can hopefully show that V equals this. Okay, so what kind of differential equation is it? Well, it's a separable one. So we're gonna be, we're gonna separate this. Um, we are gonna separate this into dV over root V equals negative K dt. This can be written as V to the negative a half dV equals negative k dt. Then we integrate this, and we integrate this. The integral of this is v to the half divided by a half, which is actually multiplied by 2. And the integral of this is minus kt plus c. Now, do you remember what I said, guys? Initially, we have when t is 0, so that's t equals 0, um, the volume is 400, so I can say 2 times 400. And by the way, v to the power of a half is root, so it's actually root 400. The power of a half is the square root. So 2 times root 400, I'm subbing in this 400, equals 0, because t is 0, plus c. So this is actually how we get our c. Our c is going to equal to 2 times root 400. Root 400 is 20. 2 times 20 is 40. So here I have C. But obviously I'm not finished. I need to put my C back in here. So I have 2 times root V. That's this equation here. 2 times root V is equal to minus KT plus 40. Now I can sub in my 10 and my 324. So 2 times the square root of 324, I hope that's a nice number, is equal to k is 10, or sorry, t is 10, um, 10, so it's minus 10k, if you like, plus 40. The square root of 324, I probably should know that, 324 is 18. 2 times 18 is 36. 36 equals minus 10k plus 40. Um, 10k equals 40 minus 36, which is 4. k is equal to uh, 4 over 10 or 2 over 5. Okay, so nearly there. I now have 2 times root v is equal to minus k, which is minus two-fifths, t plus 40. That's going back to here, but subbing in two-fifths uh, two or k. Um, let me just go down a bit. So I have the square root of v is equal to multiply across by two. Sorry, divide across by two. That gives me minus t over five, or one-fifth t, plus 20. And then square both sides, and we're going to get exactly what we want here. So v is equal to um, 20 minus t over 5 squared. Um, Q, E, D. Okay, done. That is what he asked us to show. Next, find the time taken for the tank to empty. Okay, so this is the volume. This is the volume. When does the, or what's the volume of the tank when it's empty? Well, zero. 
So the volume, volume equals zero when empty. You can write that down if you want, when empty. So we're going to equate this to zero. So I'm going to have 20 minus t over 5 squared equals zero. That means obviously this is equal to zero. 20 minus t over 5 equals zero. Um, let's go over here. t over 5 equals 20 and t equals 100. So what was the question? How long the time taken for the tank to empty? Well, that's your answer. It will take um, 100 minutes for the tank to empty. Okay, that is question 12 done.